Rest in peace to the Godfather. Let's get to it. Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh my gosh. How old are you? I'm 21. 21 years old. Uh, single or married? I'm assuming single. Single. Yes. All right. Do you think modern women understand how bad things have really gotten? Truthfully, I think modern women do. I want to ask you if you think that we understand Hell no. how bad. Um, no, absolutely not. I, I think, think I, I think I think that most women think that things are bad for many women, just not them. I don't think that they realize that they are them. Mm, I OK. I think that's a that's like a deflection. Like, that's just something that women say. Like in a conversation, uh, say the women that get on your broadcast and they're communicating with you, taking that accountability and saying, yeah, I'm I'm one of those women. I think that just. I don't think many women are self-aware. I have done this for over a year, and most women have not even thought about the math that it would take to raise three children and be a wife. How else can you get almost 99% of the women coming up on my platform and wanting men making? Right. So if you didn't, so if you didn't, if you didn't learn it, who dropped the ball? Mothers or fathers? My well, my mother. Mothers. Mothers are the first teachers of their children. So even if I say, grant the argument that you weren't taught, women have always taught women of the, of the group how to be wives and mothers. So now women are teaching women how to get jobs. The broadcast I do on Friday, the sister-daughter broadcast, and when I drop the dime and tell most women that the big problem, big problem most women have today is they can't check their mother. They won't hold their mothers accountable because their mothers failed them. Right. It doesn't mean you don't love your mother, but if your mother taught you how to get out here and hustle and this and that, but she didn't teach you how to get along with the very men that you would like to couple with because fathers don't teach you that. Fathers teach you what a man's supposed to do. Mothers are supposed to teach you how to serve and, and, and cooperate with that man through what she does. So in the so West, now, in the so West, now. in the West, this is the issue because of womanism, feminism, or anything else. In other countries where that means more patriarchal, you still see some of these things. Go ahead. that you don't um, i'm just being I'm, I'm gonna try to help you okay you don't know what you're talking about she's 21 years old she's entirely too young to have this conversation in my humble opinion she doesn't have enough life experience also i get the feeling that 
it doesn't really matter what Mr. Sammy says to her at this point. She's only 21. She already has these opinions locked in her head, even though she's never experienced it herself. She has the notions it's a black man's fault some way, somehow. And it's sad if you really think about it, someone that young whose mind has already been warped in such a manner. You know what you've been told. You've been you told go. that black men are not are not up to par, and that's not true. Well, but then I have my experience and like everyone. Ma'am, ma'am, 54% of black men are single and childless. That means there can't be a plethora of deadbeat dads with over half of black men have no children. 61% are in the middle class. 30% of black men are married. That means the bulk of the children in the black community are being made by roughly less than 20% of the men. Okay. You can't say black, you cannot say the black men and this, the, the stereotype of the deadbeat dad is accurate. It's not even precise. It's simply untrue. Uh, of what percentage of... It's simply untrue. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter what he says. Her mind is made up. 54% single, childless. 30% married. That's 84%, right? So right? That's 84%, right? Okay. That means 16% of men roughly account for the lion's share of the children in the black community. What percentage of black children in the black community are born into a uh, single parent household? That is the question I have. Um, 80%. Saying. Okay. 80%, 80%, 80%, and these, and now these men, single parent household means unmarried, right? Right. Right, and these women are having children with men who have children with other women. 54% of black men are single and childless. So you have less than 20% of the men making all these kids with women who know these men are not married to their baby mama and they're choosing to lay down and choosing to carry a child to pregnancy choosing and choosing to be a single parent Fuss. the number one the largest group the largest group of first-time mothers single mothers are college educated women in their 30s that's crazy by the way so, so we're talking about so the myth of the deadbeat dad is untrue and you really in what state do you live in New Jersey. Go down to your local family court on any Tuesday and sit in family court for for 30 days and you will see the amount you will see what happens to men when they go to court. Women can go to court right now and get the, they don't have to have any money. They get a, they get represented by the state. Men have to come up with it tens of thousands of dollars just to try to get custody. Watch the channel. I don't want to there's just so much in this when you say deadbeat I just because that's how all this stuff got started Mr. Samuels don't like that shit we don't hold women accountable for the fracturing of the family and why things are the way they are we always look to find a way the man is at fault that's how we got started right here because we were talking about one situation and and like most black women you try to go around and say well then black men have something to do with it too well it takes two people to create a child <laughs> And there you go. No. Ma'am, what okay, and what does that and what does and what and that means what? So I wanted to get to It takes no, I mean that means what? No, we don't finish this thought. It means what? Well the statistics of um single Thanks, parents, two people to create a child means what? I'm gonna connect that to this statement that I'm making now. Because you kinda said a lot in the last few minutes. I can do that, it's my platform. I know, but I'm trying to keep up and tie all together. Mm -hmm. Instead of just answering like one section, which I feel like we're not really bringing the whole piece together. Well, it's because you don't know what you're talking about. Because it's because you don't know what you're talking about. Facts. If you have to excuse me, let me pause the conversation for a second. Let me make this statement to connect this dot to this point that I was making earlier so that I can have this consolidated bit of information I want to give you as a preface to the statement that I still haven't even made yet. It's because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. I read something on the internet a few years ago and it stuck with me. There's an old Native American proverb that goes, the truth doesn't take many words. If you have to give all that super explanation before your final explanation, you don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. I mean, you don't know what you're talking about, man. Right. You're saying it takes two people to make a child. Yeah, but, it take, but only one person can decide whether or not to bring it to, to term. And when most people are laying down and having sex, they're not choosing to make a child. They're having sex. So we're talking about the women that are making these choices now. The women that are sleeping with these men and getting pregnant now are fully grown women. You're saying majority of them in their 30s. That means that they grew up in the 80s and the 90s till now. What's the, rele what's the relevance so to what that? What was the percentage of 
um, single mothers and fathers then over that time period, not the statistics that we're getting today. Why? Because that will show you the character of the man and how. And no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And see, guys, I, this, this, this is what I want you guys to understand. What this is, is what I want. Nope, nope, nope. This is what I need you guys to understand. They don't like holding women accountable. See, I, when you, it's it's moving the goalposts. No, ma'am, because what I you want to say? Well, the the facts are different. No, 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 I don't. See, this is what it is today. But let's go back to see what the stats were with their fathers in my father's generation. You still had similar statistics, man. Bottom line is, women choose when children are born. This is this is a woman. That, okay, asking me a question about the statistics of the '90s and '80s, and when you're 21 years old to try to prove a point, you can't make that point. You're just looking for some way to end up making your argument well, stick. Well, I wasn't there, so I'm just trying to connect yeah. it and make it make sense for me. So How about I this? The problem sense. starts with the women. Okay. How about women, that? Women control access to childbirth and sex. So we're saying that... True or false? True. All right. So a child cannot be born if a woman does not want to carry it to term, regardless as to who had sex with what. If I had sex with you and you wanted to terminate uh, your pregnancy, could I force you to ma have our child? Absolutely nope. not. So regardless as it takes two people, it takes one to decide. That. Let me ask you a fundamental question. Break down of the nuclear family in the black community. The majority of the responsibility lies upon the black man or the black woman. Let's see what she got. The breakdown. Mm -hmm. as Let me guess her answer. The structure as far as like the leadership. The dis the dissolution, the breakup, ma'am. I'm not going to give you any specifics. It's the general question. Okay, I would say, I would say the black man. I thank do. you, thank you. Thank you. And this is where this woman is feminist up at 21 years old. Oh, with no real thoughts of training. This is what we get. When you just say break down to the black family, we have an almost 60% divorce rate in this country. Okay. In our black community, black women marry at a rate out of 26%, one in four. So three out of four black women will never marry in their lifetime. So one out of four will marry. The average black marriage lasts five years. So when we get to that 60% divorce rate of these few black marriages that black women and black men are in, what percentage of divorces are filed by black women? I have heard you say this. I don't know the percentage, but majority of them. The majority. So when you look at the breakdown of the family, who's filing for divorce? Women. Hmm? The women. Well, then that's oh, who's okay, no, that's who's responsible. The person that leaves. The number one cause of divorce is filing for divorce. If you have 80% of the children being born to motherless, fatherless homes, that's women deciding to have children before they have the benefit of marriage. So where is this coming from, though? Like, why is, why is a whole group of women perpetuating this behavior? Like... It seems ridiculous. Obviously, it's ridiculous. You know, we see the women come onto your broadcast. Why do you, why do you think it is, ma'am? I think I smell somebody being disingenuous. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. You let me know. Because women have freedom. I, I, because I, women have freedom. Black women have freedom. Black okay. women have freedom. And you've yeah. been... Black women have freedom and they have been freed from the black men because in 1965, the Great Society came along. And guess what? Black women were given the option. That's what I was trying to get to. But then it uh, comes... But, but 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 you don't know but you weren't even I'm, anyway <laughs> thank you I know. Then, then why are you asking ma'am if then if why you are you know. asking then, then if you know if you know if you know no no if you know that then you know why the breakdown of the black family happened women chose government assistance government benefits over a man in the house but at, at the do, same no time, do you not know that i know that okay then how, can, like, then how can you say that black men are responsible if you know that one fact well, no, not that they're responsible, that maybe that they were used in that moment. No, they weren't used. See, again, I get bullshit. There we go again. Nope, absolutely not. There we go again with that black women were used. Black, you're talking about adults. No, they made their... Women. They make black, so black women. So how were they? So they're not responsible. No, I was saying that maybe black men were used in the same scheme of the government that handed government assistance to black women. Black women had a choice. 
at the same time that black women had a choice black women black women had a choice black women had a choice black women had a choice this is the modern feminist she doesn't know what she's talking about she's too young for this conversation but she's going to keep talking nonetheless but most importantly blame the men and not only blame the men but but absolve the women of any accountability whatsoever this is a pro black pro black feminist black this is and this is your problem this is what's this is what black men are not dating as cute as she is to rap this is what black men are having to deal with this is what they're having to deal with a bunch of useless knowledge going to a feminist ideal this is what was proper this is what's going on so many colleges in you i'm glad i took this call because you older ladies want to see what you wrought and women of my generation this is the product 21 years old this is the product generation x this is your daughter putting the putting the ask who would you hold responsible for the breakdown of the black family and even knowing the great society and the modern Henry Port, she still puts it to black men. This is that color purpling of the black community. This is why so many black men are tired. And over talk. Oh, I, I was music. on mute. I didn't. Yeah, because yeah, you're not going to over talk me. That's the thing. Because I don't mute you, but you're not going to have to start raising my voice. I, I know you could hear me, right? I tend to do that. It's just like happening. So you tend to be rude? It's not that I try to be rude, I'm just very like spontaneous, impulsive, not spontaneous, impulsive at times. Do you have a job? Do you have a job? Um, I haven't worked since COVID. Okay. I've been okay. trading in the okay. foreign exchange you, market. Okay. Um, do you do that when, you're, when your manager's talking? When you had a job? When I had a job, I'm sorry, what was the question? When you had a job, did you do, did you just over talk your employer too? Prior to COVID, I had worked for myself for two years driving DoorDash deliveries and mm -hmm. I worked for myself. So I never really cared to have a boss and that's why mm -hmm. I'm pursuing entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all bad. Uh, is it bad? Yep, all bad, all bad. So because, where do we Because, because ma'am, you can, you cannot like it but the reality is you cannot keep deflecting and not putting responsibility for the fracture of the black family everywhere else other than with black people. And if, it, and, and, and if who is choosing today to have children without marriage in the freest lead, no, no Jim Crow, no segregation, none of that stuff, 80% choosing Knowing all the facts, the data, statistics, children tend to do better in a nuclear parent household. We know these facts, right? Yes, 100%. Then why are black women still choosing to have children outside of the bonds of marriage at an 8 out of 10 rate? Why Great do question. you think black women are doing that? I think that black women are reacting kind of unconsciously at, from trauma. Um, there's a word this it's cognitive dissonance where it's called you're, bullshit i mean but that's it's, it's called like, bullshit it's the only explanation it's called, it's called, bull, it's called it's bullshit. The only explanation it's that's called not, bullshit yep that's and, not and, how that and this is why i do what i do black women are always the victim of this is ever their fault them victim queens. they're never responsible it's always somebody else's fault cognitive dissonance racism white supremacy jim crow mr did it Color purpose, always somebody else's fault. How do you build anything? Gentlemen, avoid women who think like that. You're not going to change them. You don't try to save them, avoid them. Don't be rude to them, don't be mean to them. The worst thing you can do is get into a relationship and reproduce with a woman who thinks like that. There'll be no peace, there'll be no tranquility. Shame, insult, guilt, the need to be right is what you saw in a 21 year old. DoorDash. <laughs> got, glad you got a job, you entrepreneur thing. But why are 21 year old women this damn aggressive and angry? You gotta ask. Just because she wasn't calling a bunch of bitches and hoes and so forth, the outcome is still the same. As Mr. Samuel stated, she was a sweet, sweet enough girl. She wasn't, you know, cursing them out or 
acting like a hooligan or anything like that. But it's sad to see someone that's only 21 and, and already have that mindset and also a mindset that seems like not going to be changed or changed rather easily when she has Mr. Samuels on who's someone that is more than twice her age and probably 10 times her life experience mrs doordash entrepreneur but more importantly i think that mr samuels hit on something else right towards the end the victim mentality the mentality that someone is always wrong in you that nothing is ever your fault you're always the victim i personally can't see how people get through life having that mentality because it seems like at the smallest hurdle you would instantly fold because you would feel like oh it's not my fault nothing is ever in my power to actually change and i just Surely couldn't live my life that way. It was nothing that she stated was ever the woman's fault or when the accountability was solely placed on a woman, it had to be shared with the man. Right, what the hell do I know? I just smoke weed, make terrible YouTube videos. You guys let me know what you think after party in the comments. My name is Theo Coop, but you can call me bitch. You better. Uh, excuse me, bitches?